say we'll teach you how to take apart a Smith & Wesson BB gun if you've got bullets lodged in. The first thing we'll do is here, the thing which takes out to the magazine, you want to undo the screw with a small crop head. There you go. That's the first thing. We're going to place this on we're not going to lose it. And now... I haven't actually done this before, so... Oh, what's that? It's just, it's a mini spring. Right, I don't think I'm going to be able to put this back together now. Because <laughs> it's got a spring there. Um, um, and I can't actually get to any of the other stuff. So right, I'm gonna try, what I want to try and do... It's like, no, that doesn't, oh shit, it's broken it. Um, um, I can't find any other way of getting into the product. It doesn't even have a split there. Um, the only other option I think I could possibly come up with is perhaps if I can somehow remove this lid. Because um, as you can see, I might be able to pop this bad boy through. Yes, oh, got access. Jamiroquai, Jamiroquai. So you just want to pop that out like that. It's got another spring in. And now, this top component, as you can see, it doesn't work anymore because it's fucked. So now, as you see, this bit should be loose. Can you see that, everybody? So now you want to pop these little black ones out. So I don't need to be racist. <laughs> and you want to be getting one of these. <laughs> the little sort of spanner thing. I'm not sure how this bad boy is. I've got no slabs at home token. This is important, Tom. Don't put me off of your free riding. You just need to get a thinner one to start with. Now, if you have any other questions, as you can see, I'm quite good at this sort of thing. So, leave a question. I'll try and get back to you if you've got any problems with the Smith & Wesson BB gun. Alright, so now you should just be able to clasp this and pull it through, like so. There should be seven of reeds placed around the gun. And now, shh, yes, and you should see this falls out. I'm not sure where it's come from. <laughs> now you can see it's quite lightweight. So, if you lightweight like us, like it like this, you can just leave it like this, I suppose, if you want. <laughs> Oh, I had to keep it. Um, see, this top still doesn't want to pop, so there's a few more little poppers here. So, I'm just going to pop these through. See? Now, pop. And grab that off to you. Cheeky! <laughs> I think I treat my guns with the utmost respect. So, I'm grab. These can be a little bugger sometimes. So if you are actually struggling with it, just try and see if you can poke it through anymore. If not, use your mouth. Yeah, it doesn't work. Um, oh, we've got some little devices here which could come in handy. Let's have a little. So just have a look through all your tools. See, see what you've got, and then just. See if it works. To be honest, oh cheeky! Just don't touch that. Just try and get in there. Pop it through a bit more. Yeah, that should be enough now. So just want to open these again. As you see, clasp onto that and pull. It's another black one. So you can see they're not all the same size. You have to remember where they came from. So you can see that it's quite feels quite flimsy in my hands now. So now should just be able to um, pull the gun apart like like oh shit <laughs> like so you see this is all the device as you can now see the gun is in two parts we're going to be focusing on the top seat bit as you can see this is where it is lodged so we're going to have to be um, undoing this bit just to pull it apart a bit to do this you want to be getting your mini cross head out shoving it in the hole and twisting like your auntie mary It's been a bit bugger, I don't really want to round it, you see, so I have to try and be careful. 
Rob, 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 Rob,